Hey there. It is Tuesday, reset day. Unboxing video for uh, the Great Vault. <laughs> and it's just going to be one character again. My Rustle Druid here. Yay. <laughs> I didn't get to do anything else on any of these characters. I do actually want to uh, start leveling my Shaman here at some point. So maybe, maybe in my next unboxing video, you'll see me open something on a Resto Shaman. <laughs> but for now, it's just, it's just a Resto Druid. Did a lot of 20s last week for Tyrannical. Timed a lot of... Well, timed an Azure Vault on a 20, Tyrannical. That was fun. Um, yeah, so I, I posted um, pretty much all the videos that I've done, or... All the videos of most of the dungeons I've done. Yeah, I even timed a 22 Ruby Life Pools, but I didn't have a video for that. But it's still exciting, considering how hard it is to even time a 20. I timed it on a 22. Wow, it was a lot of fun. Honestly, timing keys, the higher you go, it turns out to be why I enjoy doing these keys in the first place. I like timing, like timing these things. <laughs> but the <clears throat> while this is loading, might as well talk about it. You know, the reason why I still I'm still there for the untimed keys and I post about them is because that's where I get more practice. I mean, it's kind of obvious. Um with being a pugger and all, there's only so much you can learn because you'll only learn from actually experiencing the thing, the dungeon yourself, you know? Um, there's not really all that much communication going on between the pugs, between the group members, other than just flaming, you know? They, they don't, they'll flame other people, they'll flame people, but they're not actually going to take the time to... To, te to, to teach, you know, the person who made a mistake, you know, like in a constructive way. So we have to learn ourselves the hard way. Um, so then, uh, of course, you'll see me making mistakes still. But anyway, we, we're logged in. So enough of that. Um, sure, why not? Let's pick this up. Okay, so... We're on our Resto Drew. This is my main. I do my highest keys on this character. I'm getting close to 2.8k. I don't know if I'll be able to reach that this week. I don't even know what the fixes are. Honestly, I lost track. I've only I only do I only do um keys towards the end of the week. <laughs> so my brain is just not thinking about keys like for the first half of the week at all. Well, okay, so I see what we have raging quaking. Okay, fortified, of course. Right. I don't like quaking. For the first time, guys, for the first time in like years, quaking became a problem because of thundering. It's just severely incompatible. Those two affixes are so incompatible. Who agrees with me? Yeah, all right. All right, so before we start opening the vault, as always, I always take a look at what I need. I first take a look at what I, I do want to replace. Last week was uh, pretty unique because we had our Valor cap removed. And that meant that I did a lot of keys uh, around the two level range, two to three level range, just to make it quick and easy, get out of there. I farmed so much Valor. Um, I don't know. I use it all, but I still have... Uh, I have like about 1,900 Valor left, so I could probably start putting some some valor into um <clears throat> an agility weapon so i could put uh, get at least two uh ranks with that so pretty close to getting uh 13 out of 13 ranks but that's if i just do a few more keys this week of course but yeah uh let's see what we actually need to replace here there's a lot of items that i still have at 415 um and, uh, yeah. 
Last week, I I rolled as, for my vault, I rolled as Feral. Because <clears throat> I was trying to be a little greedy. I, I wanted to see if I could get a 421 when Scar Whetstone. At the time, I had a 405 Whetstone. And I figured it was such a such a useful um, trinket that it would have been it would have been wonderful to get out of 421. But what happened was that because I I rolled as uh, <clears throat> excuse me I have really bad allergies I've I've been dealing with really horrible allergies for I don't know as long as I can remember it's 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 consistent chronically chronic. <laughs> Um, so I'm just uh, dying over here, but yeah, because I rolled as feral, it, one of the options in the vault, of course, was an agility weapon and it kind of like, I don't know. That was the first time I rolled as feral, no, just to be fair, you know, I, I knew that was going to be a risk. I would have preferred to have something at 421, like a, uh, uh, intellect weapon instead, 421. So I think uh, because I still have a chance to get a Fierce Red Feather, if, you, if I roll as balance, I could still get a 421 weapon as well. So I think I should just go back to rolling as balance instead of like any other uh, agility specs. I do tend to change my, uh, my, my loot spec every time I go into a dungeon. Like, let's say I did a... Uh, what was it? A no code because uh, Granath drops a pretty nice tra uh, tanking trinket. Uh, I'm still, uh, I don't really have any like specific tanking trinkets. So might as well, you know, if I ever get around to tanking something in, in this expansion, you know, at least I have something ready. Um, but yeah, it's set, it is set back to balance. Let me just make sure. <laughs> Again, yeah, it is set to balance. So yeah, it would, have been, it would be really awesome to get a Rage Feather 421. Um, you know, it would only be three item level um, increase for a weapon, but you know, it's better than giving up a weapon slot. You know, uh, if it was an agility trinket, I would obviously kind of give that up as a first choice. So we have a lot of other uh, nice things that we would like to replace, especially for tier 421. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> I did plenty of 20s. So we should have all at 421. Just for keys. All right. You know what? This sucks. <laughs> None of these things is something that I've I wanted. I already, for instance, I already have an elemental lar lariat, <clears throat> which is amazing. But chain of scorch bones, if if I were to pick something that it um uh, those are those are the correct stats that I would go for if I didn't have the elemental layer. You know, it's kind of a no-brainer here that what I have is probably better for the most part. Look at all those stats. Look at all those sockets. Uh, by the way, the the video that I posted about getting those sockets is is still my most popular video <laughs> on my channel, <laughs> even though I. I made it when I'm just, I was just not feeling so super great. I talk like a snail. <laughs> um, and people had a lot to say about how I made, I made the video. Uh, well, you know, everyone starts somewhere, so don't be mean. I'm trying to, you know, improve as I go. But anyway, yeah. So definitely not to your piece. Uh, on any, any anywhere, there's just a bunch of necks. That one has a leech, and this sucks. <laughs> this sucks. Infernal writ. I don't need any of this. You guys, Blizzard. What is this? I I was actually kind of struggling last week. I I had I ran into a lot of keys that were actually pretty annoying to deal with. So I don't know if anything was worth it. All right. Well. Either way, I might I might pick a socket for the first time. This this is uh, something I feared. I might have to pick a socket from this. Mm, but you know what? I'm I, I'm I'm never gonna just take something and, and you know 
without analysis. So, yeah, let's have our QE Live page open first. This is a really, really disappointing. I'm surprised there aren't three neck pieces available. That would have been hilarious. I would have had something to laugh at, at least. But, okay, so some some craft. I need my some craft um, string to import. <sighs> import my gear here. All right. It's not going to be that much of an analysis, to be honest, because I there's two items that I'm probably not uh, not going to pick, you know, unless if something surprising comes up in the results here. The two items I'm talking about are the the, the necklaces. All right, so infernal writ, yeah, the infernal writ. Okay. That is crazy. That is actually insane. What? Look at that. You guys see that? The very bottom. You can totally see that. 1500 HPS for choosing the writ. <laughs> All right. Yeah. The writ and the uh, rage feather. Um... So that's more of a HPS trinket, I'm assuming, you know, obviously. Yeah. You get way more. Um, and it's amazingly, the cooldown is amazingly low. 20 second cooldown. So you got, uh, if you guys aren't familiar, it's a, your damaging spells have a chance to grant you 165 crit every one second for 20 Sec so that's 20 times 165. That's a buttload of <laughs> critical strike. Uh, so I can see why it would affect the healing. Uh, healing uh, per second here. Ooh. But I do have this open. Uh, the subcreation.net for the rest of Druid. Of course, the Abyss trinkets. We even are the trinkets. Okay, right here. The best trinket combination is the one that I was wearing for the past two weeks. Ever since I got my Windscar Whetstone, I've been combining these two together, which is an amazing combination. And because I don't raid, I don't have the I don't have that this Whispering Incarnate available to me. At least I know that at least I think it's from the raid. But let's read what it does um, and why it's so popular. Uh, Whispering Incarnate uh, Icon, it's uh, basically you become infused with frost, increasing your crit by 446. Fighting alongside allies who are infused with earth or fire has a chance to grant you 242 of their infusion stat for 12 seconds. So it's based on their specialization. Everyone's specialization gets a different stat, I suppose. But yeah, for you, you get crit. And Infernal Writ gets crit and a bunch of crit. So that makes sense. So it's not quite the same, but I would kind of weigh them side by side and see the value of uh, what Infernal Writ offers. Um, I think it makes sense. So uh, yeah, Alacritius Alchemist Stone. Uh, I might still have yet to craft that. I have the Sustaining Alchemist Stone, which gives me a lot of versatility and uh, duration on your file. And yeah, Brood Keeper's Promise. You bond with the player. Uh, you gain verse and restore health. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, Void Menders is the second most popular. And the Eye of Skovaldus is, uh, or not second, it's like down, the, down this list is the fifth most popular. And then I have Skovald sixth. I do have, I do have all of these trinkets available, by the way, in my bags. So there are four or five. <laughs> uh, yeah. But it doesn't appear that, uh, what's it called? Um, Infernal Writ is not on this list, is not on this list. Hmm. So, 
And I do have a little bit of thinking to do. Fortunately, still have some thinking to do. Um, so we're going to go with Biss. Well, let's check out Wowhead. See what they talk about. I haven't been on here for a while. Like Biss gear. Let's see. Mm. Trinket for Keeper is Alacritius. That's for Raid. Furyage, Void Mender, yeah. See? <clears throat> and, um, by the way, uh, QE, QE, the question we have, Epic website, it's just really interesting how much of a difference that, that is. Usually I ignore anything that's like un under, if it's under 1% difference, I pretty much ignore, like, I don't want to take whatever is um, <clears throat> uh one percent difference in HPS. I don't really take that item into account if it does. It has a minimal uh amount of change for my output throughput, whatever. Um, but considering it's two point one per two point two one percent difference, I don't know. Is that gonna be a <sighs> I mean, it could save someone's life, right? Percent could be could be a decent help. Um, but let's go to the QE live. I, I think there's a trinket thing here, just so we can see. We're gonna go. Oh uh, wait, I think if you click on if it's if it's green and highlighted, that means it's that's the one where we're gonna talk about because I only do. Dungeons. This is probably the most relevant for me. All right, so I already see that Infernal Writ is uh, for HPS purposes. It's doing really well, <clears throat> or at least it's pretty much dead in the center of all of the trinkets available. All right, this is not even available. So, like when Neltharius. Or is it? Yeah, it's not. It's not even a mythic plus. Serga is dragon. Um. Yeah, like okay. So mode of sync sanctification. That is not one of the. The trinkets that are, are, are you is used or recommended for rest of druid at the moment. It's Plask of Soul Knight does a lot of HPS. I, I suppose um, haste, yeah. And I mean, void. I would probably be better off using the void mender. I suppose, yeah. So if I get my void mender up to four fifteen and I use it for solely solely for HPS increase, it probably would be okay compared to a four twenty one writ. So, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm just thinking about having a, a combination of trinkets I could use to help with just like raw healing throughput. Um, and it doesn't seem like it's, I don't think it's worth taking the infernal right at all. So based on this, I'd be, I'd be better off to, uh, getting my void mender shutter gem up to 415 probably getting equal results, you know? <laughs> um, okay, so that makes my decision. It confers my decision that I should be just take the six uh, tokens of merit. All right, this is the first. This is the first. Oh, yeah. All right. Um, sure. Whatever. Let's go. Thanks for nothing. One of the worst unboxing experiences experiences I've had in this game or ever <laughs> I'm not trying to be dramatic but it's just bleh. sometimes it's how it goes all right so we got our aspect uh what is our okay we got a 22 academy nice uh I don't know I guess it's uh not the best key to get for a fortified definitely not the best key to get for a tyrannical I didn't even want to attempt it last week. 
uh people have a lot of issues there so where do i have okay tokens exchange um interesting it's right here very convenient so a token a storm charge manipulator what is that adds a socket to season one item that does not already have one can be used on helmets uh necks bracers blah 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 oh okay okay i like that i like that a lot so you can use on a helm helm neck racer belts or rings first thing that came to mind is putting it on my helmet it's the first item on the list first item i can see here and it's a good item uh let's go back here for a uh, whoa whatever it is it is our bis one of our bis um as well as here you know our helmets where is it pretty sure it's yeah it's our bis so this is not gonna hurt to do anything to it it is a bis item all right we're gonna just take that i guess first time this expansion we're dealing with this okay thanks guys for all of that game performing this action will make this item not one all right well uh hold on why is it okay so i do have only three items yeah i probably just wait <laughs> if next week goes you know the same way as this week you know where my socket's going to it's going to be going to that one okay so Mm. all right do you want to upgrade this item yeah am i missing something am i just about to do something stupid no right we're 21 tier helmet and i gotta suck it in it yay nice Okay. <laughs> I don't know what socket I'll put in there or what gem I'll put in there. Uh, I don't know what's going on with my haste. My haste is higher than that. What just happened? Why did it change? <laughs> did you guys see that? It was 25 a second ago. Oh, wait. Oh. I, am I just am I am I tripping right now? Am I but am I having a stroke? Some okay. So yeah, something's going on. I it's because of all the other things that is happening. I think the bear form is like doing something weird to my my stats. Um, because I'm gaining a, a ton of other stuff. I guess. Uh, I am a tanky bear. Wow. Anyway, wow, I'm so sorry. I just <laughs> got totally distracted. ADHD. Um Yeah, so I'm gonna buy a gem. You know, next next thing I do in this game is buy a gem and put it in my new uh, socket. My new helmet, uh socketed helmet. And yeah, that was not the greatest vault, but at least I got something out of it and I made use of it. And uh, hopefully we learned something. Um, infernal, infernal writ is um, uh, ugh, a mad trinket. You could probably pick it if you have no other no other option. But I'm gonna stick around with this, you know. I'm still stuck at 417 item level. It's just pr decently high. I was hoping to get something a little higher, you know, get work my way up to 418, things like that, more and more stamina. But, you know, I have to wait another week for that. Um, okay. Well, hopefully your your vault isn't as kind of dis as disappointing as mine was. <laughs> Uh, let me know if you got something cool uh, uh, or or not up to you.
feel free to share what you got. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. I hope to do some keys. I'll post them this week if, if I do. All right. See ya. Thank you.